In this Ninja Trader tutorial video, I'm gonna share with you guys how to place stop loss orders and take profit orders. You might be saying, Mike, I use Chart Trader. I don't need to worry about that. I use ATM orders. I hear you, but I bet you one of these two things has occurred to you in the past, and how do you handle it? We're gonna talk about that in this video. Now, for this example, I'm gonna use what's called the playback feature in NinjaTrader. It's where we can trade placed on historical data. That way, I'm not risking any real money. Also, when we look over here at the right, we have what's called Chart Trader. In order to turn that on, you click right over here. If I click off, all right, obviously it's off the chart. If we click right here on this icon here, we click Chart Trader, it now reappears on the chart. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just we're just going to hit buy market and we say uh oh i got into a trade and we're going to go ahead and hit play and uh oh i realize i don't have a stop and i don't have a take profit order so how do i exit this trade all right one you can say well i'm green on the trade i'll just simply close out the trade Woohoo! i just made 37 dollars and 50 cents however if you truly believed in that position and you thought the market was going to go a lot higher is there another way that you could exit that trade? The simple answer is yes. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put that same trade right back on. And I wanna show you guys one thing you can do. Click on the chart. And again, chart trader must be turned on in order for this feature to work. Right click on the chart. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit sell limit. Then we're gonna go below price. Then we're gonna hit sell stop market. Now, what this essentially says is if one of these two orders are hit, then we will be out of the current positions. However, I'm gonna warn you about something about doing it this way. I'm gonna go ahead and move that stop loss order up rel relatively close. And I'm gonna move the limit order relatively close. I'm gonna hit play on playback and let's see which order actually gets hit first. I'll speed it up. Now, do you see the problem that has taken place? Yes, we got out of the trade for a profit. However, the stop loss order is still an active order. So if indeed the market goes lower, then what happens is we will then be initiated into a trade like we see right there. Right now, in this case, yes, it's working in our favor. However, it could be detrimental. It could actually get us in, a, in the exact opposite trade that we would wanna be in because right now, we don't wanna be in a trade. We had an order to get us out of the trade. We had a limit order and a stop, all, stop loss order. This stop loss order was then triggered so when it went to sell, it essentially created a short position. So let's walk around a second scenario. One, I want you guys to hit Control Z on the keyboard. You'll see this green lot, this green box show up right here. It says OC. It means OCO orders, order cancels order. And what this will essentially do is, as long as that's turned on green, then we can right click on the chart. Then what we can do is we can hit okay. I want to buy stop market somewhere up here. Then below us. All right, we wanna get out and we wanna buy limit. So this will be a limit order. This will be a stop loss order. Now for this example, I'm gonna bring the orders a little bit closer. Now, once you already have the orders on the chart, you can then hit Control Z again and the green box will go away. The OCO order will still be there. Meaning if one of these orders are hit, the other one will simply disappear. I'll speed this up and let's see, can we go ahead and get a take profit? We did. Now notice this time, the stop loss order went away when that profit target was hit. However, I wanna warn you guys about a pitfall when doing it this way. For this example, what I'm gonna do is, We'll just simply go short again, and we're gonna go and we're gonna do the same thing. Control Z, we see the OCO order box pop up. Now in this example, I'm gonna say, okay, we're short the market, so in order to get out, we need to be we need to buy that, that position back. So we're gonna do a buy stop order. Now in order to take profit, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a buy limit order, meaning if price comes down here, then essentially it's gonna go ahead and trigger that and get us out of the trade. However, this time I'm not gonna turn off the OCO order up here. And if we go ahead and we hit play, I'm gonna speed this up so we can see one of these orders hit. Now notice, all right, when the order was hit, both orders went away. However, here's where the pitfall comes into play. If I simply say, okay, I wanna short the market again. Uh-oh, we're getting an error message, right? Short the market again. Uh-oh, we're getting an error message. That's because the OCO is still turned on. So just simply hit Control Z. Then you wanna make sure that the, you wanna make sure that green box is not lit up. Then we can short the market. So now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and hit Control Z at the same time. So hold down Control, hit Z. 
then what we're going to see is we need to go ahead and add our order. So down here, we'll go ahead and say, okay, if the market goes any lower, since we are short, we want to get out. So we'll use a buy limit order if the market goes down. Now, if the market comes up, we need to have a stop loss order. So we'll do a buy stop market order. And what I'm going to do here is just speed it up. Now, we really want to turn off the OCO order once we've already set the orders in place. That way, we don't set ourselves up for that error message that we just saw a moment ago. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Z. And now we're just going to simply let this play out, right? Which way is this going to break? Which order will get hit first? All right, there we go. That was taken out. So now I can place another order because the OCO button is not up here. However, I want to show you guys another way. All right, so we went ahead and we went short once again. You might say, oh man, we don't have a stop loss and take profit order in place. So what we can do is we can come right over here to our control panel under positions and go ahead and highlight the order that we have on. We can then right click and, and click on apply ATM. And I have mine set at A1, I named it A1. Once you see the orders on, then we can go ahead and say, okay, well, I think the market's gonna go way down here. And I really don't wanna risk more than you know this pop-up right here. And what you'll see is, all right, the ATM orders hit. We don't have to worry about the OCO orders or any of that fun stuff right there. It just simply takes off the trade. And you might say, Mike, I, I don't have to worry about that. Every time I place a trade, I already have the ATM order placed. So I just buy and my ATM order is on and you can still move those around. Well, that's great. But what happens when you already have the trade on and let's say you're, 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 you know, you're getting excited. The market's going up and down, up and down, and you're getting excited looking at your P and L jump up and down. And what happens if you go to grab this tag and you accidentally click that X button, you're like, uh Oh, I don't have a trade on. I don't have a stop and target. Ah, I don't want you guys to freak out. I just showed you guys multiple ways in order to exit the position. If you want to learn more about the ATM strategies, how to set it up, how to name it, how to make it, where it'll automatically move your stop loss to break even, watch this video right here.